Hey guys, this video is just for Windows users of Negative Lab Pro who are tired of uh, having to go to File, Plugin Extras, Negative Lab Pro every time they want to bring it up and want a shortcut key. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So in the latest version of Negative Lab Pro, um, it includes a hotkey folder and inside that there are two different files. One is uh, an exe file and that's the application and the other is the original script that uses a program called auto hotkey. So for most users you're just going to want to run this application and all you need to do is double click on this guy and it'll start running and it may not look like anything is running but if you want to see where it is it's actually all the way down here so if I show hidden icons I can hover over this and see this is the negative lab hotkey. Now when you run the exe file if you see this uh, pop up from Windows Defender that says Windows protected your PC you need to click this uh, more info uh, uh, text right here it may look like it's not clickable but it is you'll click that and then you'll hit run anyway. Um, Windows is just a little bit overprotective. Now the actual hotkeys off the bat are going to depend upon the language that you're using inside of Lightroom. But for most users it's going to be Control Alt N. And if I hit that, you can see that it's brought up Negative Lab Pro. Now you may notice that there was a little bit of a flicker there and basically what's happening is, is that the auto hotkey script is literally going to file plugin extras native lab pro for you just using keyboard shortcuts so don't be alarmed if you see a little flicker that's what's going on there okay awesome um, so now that this is going on you may think that you're done but you'll notice that since this is an application that's running if you shut down your computer and restart it uh, you'd have to do that again so to avoid that you just need to set this as something that that runs on startup and to do that we can go over to uh, to here and just type run and then put in shell colon startup, hit OK, and that will bring you up to your startup folder. And in most cases, that's going to be Windows, Start Menu, Program Startup. You see I already have, uh, I already have the shortcut key from another program that I made called Opal already in here. But basically, if you want this, uh, if you want this to automatically run on startup, you just need to come in here and take this and just copy it over into this folder and that way when you shut down and restart it'll still be running so for most users that's going to be enough but if for some reason um, let's say you're already running auto hotkeys uh, for some other shortcuts that you're using or if you want to customize this even further and use a custom set of hotkeys i've also included the the hotkey script in here so if we right click on this and we open this with notepad you can actually see you can actually see the script itself and um, for people who are already familiar with negative lab or sorry already familiar with auto hotkey um, you can just come in and, and kind of grab the relevant parts from here and throw them into your own hotkey script if you're not familiar with this and you you want to customize it because you don't like the um, the hotkeys that that are that are default uh, i have a little note on here on how to do this on how to customize the first thing you have to do is download and install auto hotkeys on your system and you can do that from this address right here once you've done that basically you'll want to come back into this file and you'll want to find the language below that matches your language setting in Lightroom so you can see here is English uh, here's uh, German French just find the uh, the language that matches yours because the instructions are a little bit different for each Okay, so after you've done that, you want to change the hotkey code. And the hotkey code are, it's the letters and symbols that are before um, uh, these double colons. So for English, here's the hotkey code right here. And I've put in some of the most common symbols. So here, uh, this is control and then alt and then in. So that's the, the default auto hotkey for English is control alt N. If I wanted to change this to say control X, I would just replace this with this because the caret sign here is, uh, is the control key and then X and then these double 
these double colons. I'll just take this and replace this here. And then you can, um, you can reload the script or you can uh, double click the script itself after you've saved it. And it will start running as long as you have auto hotkeys installed on your system properly. So that's it guys. That's how you can, uh, can start using this, this shortcut. And it's really great. It's, it saves a lot of annoyance cause I can, you know, come in here and I can convert this and then I can go back and, and make changes. And it, it just makes it a lot easier to be hitting this instead of having to go through all the menu commands time and time again. So hope you guys like that. If you have uh, any questions or feedback, just leave it in the comments.